ladies and gentlemen, it's Preacher. Let's have a little chit chat about the current talent situation, shall we? And just point out exactly how crazy this situation is. So, many people have been asking for my opinion on it, although it's a pretty obvious opinion. It's obviously ridiculous, but I have given it a fair shout. I've been trying it out for about a week or so now. I even went to the lengths of leveling herbalism and inscription uh, to go out into the world and see what that was like and see what it was like to get the resources in order to create the new stuff. But before we get to that, let's talk about it. And I think it's important for historical sake to know exactly what happened here. So if you're not sure what's happening, this is the process we've just gone through in Legion. So in Warlords of Draenor, in order to change your talents, you need to have a Tome of the Clear Mind, right? You need to have them in your inventory. So what generally happened, and most of you probably do the same thing, is people went and bought stacks of like 200, stuck them in their bags, and never thought about it ever again. And why would you? If you think about how often, especially a raider, will respec during a single raid, it's pretty absurd. You'll respec and re if probably before uh, for the initial trash then you'll respec to whatever the boss demands of you then respec back to your trash spec do the trash that way then respec back to the next boss so on and so forth for every boss in the dungeon on a given raid night and that could be multiple talents multiple glyphs etc and that's generally the way it goes, right? And no one really ever complained about that. It made sense. You were tailoring your character to the content. That is what you were doing. You were lo knowing the ins and outs of your class and saying, I need this for the upcoming battle in order to do the best my character can possibly do. That's all good. So in Legion, Blizzard kind of thought, what's the point in the tomes? People are just buying these super cheap things, whacking them in their bags and using them regardless you know they're not really giving thought to this or anything like that what a useless part of the game the tome is correct so legion removed the requirement and just allowed you to switch talents by clicking on them as simple as that didn't make much of a difference from the wad system to the legion system it was a little bit quicker that was about it and it was nice and many people saw videos of me changing talents on a boss by boss basis in five months to show all that kind of stuff off Blizzard were not happy. They were not happy at all. They came out with a post saying, we, are, we do not like this. We've had an internal discussion, and it was a divided discussion, is what they said. But we believe that this system that is currently in place in Legion is not interesting enough for the talents. We do not believe that it is good practice or good for the game that people are changing their talents so freely so freely that they are swapping literally to increase movement speed across a zone. So if you have a large area to cover, people were respecting to something that gave you enhanced movement speed. Or in dungeons, people were respecting if they were going to be doing trash, they would spec over to AoE, and then they would spec back to single target and so on. And Blizzard just didn't seem to like it. They didn't like it. They gave all these examples that weren't very clever, they weren't very bright, and they certainly did not really sit well with their case. So they introduced a new system. That was that you could only respec, only respec in areas that gave you rested experience, in rest areas, so in cities and the such like, right? Those were the only places in the game you could respec. And this had a whole bunch of problems because it was absolutely idiotic. Now, I could be getting pessimistic in my old age, but I truly believe that this was never, ever going to be the final decision on this at all. I have no doubts whatsoever that the line they fed us about interest, and I'll talk a little bit more about it later, uh, was a complete lie was an absolute lie and this whole idea was never ever going to be the final solution for what they perceived or told us was the problem not that anybody really knew what the problem was in the fucking first place so obviously people complained they then introduced the group tome, similar to a soul well, or the summoning stone, or the food table, which could be placed down, because obviously raiders are like, are you expecting us to hearthstone out every single boss in a raid? Or in a dungeon, if we're doing mythic, or what are we supposed to be doing here? So they introduced the idea of the group tome that could be created, and this is important, by inscription. And the inscribers could drop this on the floor, and this would allow all people local to it to respect freely. This is the solution. But then, of course, people started to say, yeah, this doesn't really address the problems that you've caused here whatsoever. And then, then they came back to create in a new type of tome, which is again from inscription that you can get for an individual purpose. We went right back to Warlords of Draenor's system, but now included that you can't buy these tomes from a vendor, they're going to have to be created by inscriptors and you're going to have to either have a friend, have an alt, or buy them off the auction house in order to respec. 
this is where we are right now. So let's bring off some of the most ludicrous problems this system has. Firstly, because you can't respec, and these tomes aren't exactly flying around, <laughs> you know what I mean? They're not flying around. I've managed, to put some context to it, I have done about 170 on my herbalism. That is literally hundreds of herbs. You'd get anywhere from two to seven herbs per time, especially when you get the level two herbs. Uh, this was on my journey from level 100 to 110 on my warrior. And you have to crush them, obviously. So I've crushed with milling literally hundreds of herbs. Now, in Legion, similar to the system in Wad, certain herbs give certain pigments. And there's two types. There's rosette and there's the swallow. And the swallow ones are far rarer than rosette. To give you context, I have about 400 rosette pigments and about 20 of the swallow ones. And the point is here that certain herbs have a much higher chance of dropping the swallow ones. So you have to farm in a certain area a certain zone that only drops that kind of herb in order to get that so after several hundred herbs i say that they drop between anywhere from two to seven but also you get mobs that spawn when you herb uh when you actually pick a herb that can give you 10 plus each time so you get that's from literally hundreds of herbs i have managed to get around 400 rosette pigments and about 20 swallow that's it that's enough to make one of the group tomes i can make one throughout that process that's yeah they're not the easiest thing in the world to make they really aren't you'd have to pretty much have somebody who's dedicated and focused to creating these things in order to get them uh, and that's the group one so we've gone right back to the wad system essentially just added inconvenience to it that first is absurd right that's absurd we've gone right back to the old system but just added a layer of inconvenience the fact that we've gone back to the first system this is also why it's so absurd it completely negates the whole point of changing the system in the first place, which was that rest areas were needed to create interest for the talents. Clearly not, because you've gone back to a system where we absolutely do not need to do that if you're willing to purchase the tomes. So who are the people who are likely to be respecking a lot? Those are certainly going to be the players who are doing raiding, doing PvP, and of course, doing things like Mythic Plus Dungeons. You don't need to respec every boss or whatever in normal and heroic dungeons, although it would be fucking nice to be able to do that. But they obviously were lying. You were clearly lying. If your whole purpose in getting rid of this system of being able to respec freely was because you believed it did not create enough interest in the talent choices you made because you were able to swap them quite freely, how can you within a few days revert back to the system as it was in the old days? You clearly were lying there. That's an absolute lie. There's no doubt about it because the solution you've come up with on a Tuesday was to a problem that you only created on a fucking Sunday. And you've gone right back to the problem of the solution that you already had in place last Thursday. This makes no sense whatsoever. The whole thing is completely ridiculous. Let's talk about some more things that are ridiculous. You can't respect in a dungeon, even in the beginning of the dungeon, which would be somewhat tolerable if when entering a dungeon you could sort of respec to a dungeon spec. This means if you queue for a dungeon and go out leveling, you are stuck in that dungeon with the spec that you are out leveling with. The only solution to this is what we're seeing widespread through a lot of dungeons, mainly because this is beta and people want to test out their talents in a group environment, in a dungeon environment. Those aren't the same talents you generally want to check in a single player environment. And what happens is you either hearthstone when you're done dungeon queue pops which is ridiculous because obviously somebody could cancel the dungeon and then you're suddenly stuck in a city or enter the dungeon then leave the dungeon to go and respec then come back and what we've seen is many many times these people doing certain parts of the dungeon and saying okay i'm gonna go and respec i've tried these talents out i want to try some different ones and i'm gonna go back to the city then i'm gonna either teleport back or ask for a summon or whatever and this is happening regularly. I had a tank who went out of the dungeon three times because he wanted to try out different talents because he wasn't sure about what he enjoyed yet or wanted to test them out. Because this is beta after all. We are supposed to be testing here, Blizz. This is what we're supposed to be doing here is testing things out for the live game. And you're making it harder to do that, which in itself is absurd. It's absolutely absurd. Let's point out another absurdity then, shall we? Is that you can totally change your entire specialization without any cost and you can do that at any point in the world. So when I did the myth dungeons video is still pending on that i'm still doing them all is that what we came up with was some people are doing normal and single target dps so instead of like trying to assign people to it which could have been an interesting discussion is who will carry out our aoe dps who will carry out our single target dps for the bosses more on that later what you can actually do in the case of my warrior is i can be fury 
for trash and I can switch over to arms no problem whatsoever very 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 quickly for the next part absolutely absurd that you could change the entire entire specialization of your character freely without problem but changing a talent that's not allowed changing a shockwave to stormbolt that's not allowed but changing the entire way you play your character that's fine and obviously if they did limit your ability to do that that could cause problems all the way down the line with people who need to have three tanks sometimes or two tanks sometimes or perhaps the tank leaves and you want to you can just respect the tank and do that that creates all sorts of quality of life good issues that you don't want to abandon with this system again but obviously in a <laughs> the point here is that i'm trying to make is it's absolutely absurd that such a drastic change is free and easy yet as such a minor change is apparently a problem now and we can't really do that oh dear without ex having to visit the auction house let's point out another absolute and this is the most abhorrent awful piece of hypocrisy i've seen in a long time a lot of you probably are going to be comparing the system towards draenor and saying well it's just like what preacher it ain't that bad you are correct if this was Warlords of Draenor. This is not Warlords of Draenor. This is Legion. Legion has a fundamental design philosophy. A philosophy that was enacted the very moment Legion went into design. I'm talking base design. And the base talent design of Legion is to remove the need for people to do guides on which talent gives X amount of incremental DPS. They don't like that kind of stuff, and rightly so. It shouldn't take someone like me to come along and say, well, the difference between X talent and Y talent is about 4% DPS right now, so you have to take Y talent. Nobody likes that. Nobody likes being pigeonholed. So the solution that Blizzard came up with is that your talents are divided pretty much like this. On the left hand side are generally all the single target DPS. Now I'm talking in generalizations here. There are obviously some outliers that don't work this way, but this is the general idea. On the left hand side of your talent tree are all talents that will boost your single target DPS. In the middle of the talent tree of the three choices is all the stuff that will give you decent cleave DPS, like two to three targets. And on the right hand side are all the talents that will give you good AoE damage, right? Three targets plus very simple idea and this is a great idea because you don't need someone like me to tell you that if you're going to be doing lots of aoe blade storm is probably better for you if you're going to be doing a lot of single target dps x is better for you right you don't need me to tell you that because it's so incredibly obvious the whole reason this talent system was designed for legion in the first place is under the entire idea that people can respec freely this system does not work by restricting players' ability to respec. It doesn't work that way. It's designed with this in mind. Another idea that might make sense to you from what I'm trying to say is Warlords of Draenor was designed from the ground up. The guys who designed the geography for Warlords of Draenor were told on day one, we're going to make Draenor. There will be no flying in Draenor. We want you to design the geography with that in mind. And then, of course, it backtracked. So once you got flying, you noticed that there were lots of oddities in the geography of Draenor. It took months for them to get flying to work in Draenor for this very reason. The game wasn't designed with this in mind, and lots of changes had to be made. And it went against a lot of the things that they had implemented into Draenor now that people could fly. It didn't make any sense. Everything was supposed to be viewed by the player from ground level or upon geographically higher levels not from anywhere in the sky I and mean, you can see that today if you fly around there are all kinds of weird oddities and you can't really see a lot of areas because they're shrouded by trees because people weren't supposed to be flying above it now compare that to this situation where the developers have had this talent system in mind which is designed to be freely changed around because you do shit aoe if you pick your single target and obviously in a lot of situations you need to mix and match that has to work for this talent system to make any sense so then you ask yourself, why have you done this? What's the point? So the, the, now we know exactly what has happened. And now they know the solution, which is just to go back to the WAD system, but add a, an entire level of inconvenience unnecessarily. Uh, because people will still just buy a shitload of the new tomes and just leave them in their bags. No big deal. Go back to the old way, right? Yeah, pretty much. That's how it is now. So why did we go through this entire exercise? Why did we do that? The only possible solution that I think is even reasonable at this point is that inscription is pretty much worthless now. 
and I think they're struggling for reasons why inscription should remain in the game. It's too late now to get rid of it. It's far too late to say we are scrapping this entire progression, uh, profession. Obviously, the glyph system has been massively reduced in not only amount, they're far less glyphs, but in fact, use. They're far more aesthetic. They are things like they change the look of one of your items to something in your bag, similar to the warlock glyphs that you'll know in WAD with the uh, fell, uh, fell demons. It's crazy, and this is the only justification I can think of, is that they thought, right, we'll go through this whole process, we'll make it massively inconvenient, and I, I can't, again, I don't want to be pessimistic, but I can't think of any other reason to justify the outlandish statement that knowing your class and being so dedicated to your performance that you're going to be respecking regularly is a problem, and that's not interesting. Of course it's interesting to me, because in a world where I can swap my talents very freely... I am not only aware of everything my class can do, but I'm also aware of the content I'm about to tackle. That's a very interesting choice. That is far more interesting than having no choice. Having no choice and being stuck in the whatever spec I happen to enter the area in or happen to level with, that's not interesting. That's just making do. That's not interesting, and I doubt, I have no doubts whatsoever that there was no one championing the idea, and they needed a, some sort of PR statement to come out with this. And that PR statement cannot be, Inscription's not very cool, so we're going to create tomes that you need to buy to respect with, and this is kind of the only thing we can come up with. And that's the only thing I could think of come up with. What a weird scenario to be in, and I'm greatly saddened by this. The only reason I wanted to make a video is, one, to make sure everybody knew the stages that we went through with this, in case they go back in time and say, well, it didn't really happen that way. Yes, it did. It happened exactly this way. And not only that, this is the worst change I've seen in Legion. It's the worst change I've seen so far. It really bothers me. And not just from a content creator standpoint. Obviously, you've seen the issues I've had of not being able to do dungeons for you guys. Hopefully, I can rectify that now. That's why I leveled inscription and stuff. What a joy that was. Um... So that I can actually go back to doing that content because I love doing dungeons with you guys and just running into funny situations. But just general gameplay, I can tell you, I mean, I've been playing hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of Legion recently. And the respecking thing has drove me crazy because I'm trying to test things. I mean, why implement this on a beta in the first place is fucking ridiculous. But the, the fact of the matter is being stuck out leveling and then your dungeon pops and you're like, right, I'm going to go out there. And it's like, why do I even want to respec? It's so much more boring now. So much more boring than what it was. And it's not done any favours for the game whatsoever. I'm sure when the tomes are out there, I just won't care anymore. But I'll just remember that we went through this whole process for no apparent reason. Alright guys, so there you go. That's my thoughts on it. I'd love to see your comments on it. Just change for the sake of change. Do you think it's just for inscriptions purposes? Or do you see something I don't? And this is after a lot of testing. So I'd be interested to see your thoughts. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.